Today we're gonna to be talking about how to load your own blanks. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on specifically 556 blanks. Um, these are typically called like M200 blanks. Uh, this particular one is a factory one where this is just a regular case. We're gonna talk about taking this case, turn it into blank, so let's go. So to get started to show you what's inside one of these, I cut it open with these cutters and it's this flaky powder that burns pretty quick. Um, it's kind of like a pistol powder. Uh, so they have 5.8 grains of that in there. Um, this is Hotchkins 700X and this is some of that powder. So we're gonna be using this powder. So to do this, I've got these three cases prepped. I just washed them by hand because I didn't have any cases ready to roll. Um, these ones are ones that I've reloaded already, so I don't have to ream out any primer pockets. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. If you don't know how to prep a 5.56 case, then I got other videos and I go look for those. Um, so I have just um, my regular decapping rod, uh, not my full length sizing die. And then the other dies I have are actually these Hornady blank cartridge dies. They're meant just for this. So this first one that looks a little scary is the starter die. So that's what's gonna start the blank. Um, and then afterward is this finished die. It's just got this cone finish there and that's gonna finish it and you can fine tune adjust it. This starter die, you gotta be really careful not to over crimp with the starting one because you will buckle the edge of the case. I don't know if I have any lying around here to show you what that looks like, um, but you do got to be careful. Also, if you haven't sized or trimmed your brass, which you don't really need to when you're doing blanks, um, then you might, they might be, you might have different sizes of openings at the end. We're going to put some paint just like that over the opening so it doesn't really matter if the openings are a little bit different sizes so if you don't want to size and trim your brass fancy you don't really care that, that doesn't really matter okay so i'm going to do one at a time just to show you what that looks like so first we're going to go up here pop out that old primer um i am these are small rifle magnum primers that i'm using here by the way um it's just what i had but my load will be worked up accordingly I'm gonna skip that one, just show you this one. This next one, I'm gonna come up here. And like I said, I'm gonna be measuring my powder by hand. And normally I don't give my loads that I work up on here away just cause you know, it works great in my guns It's you know, and all that. But so you don't have to go do all the work yourself and compare it to factory blanks and buy factory blanks. I will tell you what I'm doing for this one. So this, I'm using this Hodgkin 700X, which I'll put up the powder burn chart here and highlight it. And then I am using 5.2 grains of hand measured Hodgkins 700X. Now I have a video gonna go up next week to show how hot you can kind of get these and you can get them a lot hotter, um, but just you gotta work up load, just be safe with that. Um, stay tuned for next week's video. Drop in that. Okay, so now I got powder in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go up here into this starter die, this one that looks all gnarly. Okay, so that started the crimp, and notice none of my edge is buckled. If you do it more than about that, what I got right there, if it'll focus, then it will buckle the case edge. Um, you can play with that on your own. I'm gonna go up here into this finish die to finish it. Okay, and then that's what it looks like. Um, when it's all done and this blank is about ready to go shoot a golf ball because it's pistol powder It actually doesn't fall out of there really at all So if you don't want to paint in the end, you don't really have to I do though just so I uh, don't have to worry about it at all So I'm gonna go ahead and do these next two Okay, so to finish these off we're pretty much just gonna take it and just very barely dip the end. And honestly, if you get a little extra paint on there, like that was probably a little much, it does not matter at all. This is the factory one. That's, this is mine. Who the heck cares? And we're just gonna dip the, dip all of them. Just kind of dip those tips in. Dip that tip in. Okay. And then we're just gonna let her dry. Okay, and then we have some beautiful blanks. And these guys, I mean, the powder primer or whatever, I mean, these are, I don't know, a little over 10 cents a round, whereas the factory blanks are about a dollar. So definitely worth loading your own blanks if you're going to be shooting a lot of golf balls or something. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Um, 
it's super easy to load your own blanks. So uh, if you have any other comments or questions on what I did or how to work up the load or whatever there, uh, please put that in the comments below. Also next week, like I said, I do have a pretty cool video on seeing how hot I can get these rounds and these blanks and you can get them pretty hot. So um, I'll, I'll show you that. There is a point at which your golf balls explode in the golf ball launcher, by the way, a little sneak peek and hint to that. Um, and we'll go over that next week. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.